Adana, the River Goddess, Episode 1 In the ancient times before European vessels sailed near the shores of Africa, within the small village of Okwukwe, nestled amongst the Igbo people, myths and legends thrived. The lifeblood of this village was the Omo River, revered both as their source of sustenance and their divine deity. Elders of Okwukwe spun tales of the powerful river gods who resided within its waters. Once upon a time, the offspring of these river deities began to manifest among the inhabitants of Okwukwe, taking human form at birth. These divine children brought prosperity and opulence to the families they entered. It became customary to consult oracles to discern whether a newborn was of mortal or divine lineage. The birth of a child of the gods warranted grand celebrations, for it heralded a life free from want and hardship. As Okwukwe flourished and joy filled the air, the river gods grew discontented. They decreed the return of their mortal-born children to the river kingdom. On a market day, death swept through Okwukwe as the divine offspring were summoned back. Bodies littered the streams, marketplaces and fields, plunging the once happy village into mourning. Okwukwe became synonymous with sorrow, and those who grieved were consoled with the phrase, do not mourn like Okwukwe, for better days will come. Yet a handful of the divine children defied the call to return. They found solace in mortal life, refusing to abandon their newfound joys. Angered by their defiance, the river gods cursed them, driving them mad and transforming them into ravenous beasts who preyed upon the villagers. The village elders sought guidance from the gods, who instructed them to bring the heads of the rebellious divine offspring to the Omo River. Skilled warriors were dispatched, and soon the curse was lifted as the heads were offered to the river gods. However, with the departure of the divine children, the prosperity they brought began to wane until nothing remained. Determined to prevent such tragedies in the future, the people of Okwukwe adopted a tradition of testing newborns to ascertain their lineage. Babies were thrown into the Omo River. If they sank, they were deemed children of the gods and if they floated, they were considered mortal. Though mothers abhorred the practice, they acquiesced to prevent the rise of flesh-eating beasts among them. After generations had passed, the pain of Okwukwe's losses dulled, and life resumed its course. Then a miracle occurred. A princess of the River Kingdom was born in Okwukwe. Ngbadi, a once barren woman, bore a daughter whose fate defied the river's judgment. Despite sinking in the waters, the child resurfaced, signaling her mortal heritage. Named Adana, the girl grew into a woman of unparalleled beauty, her radiance captivating all who beheld her. Stories of her extraordinary charm spread far and wide, with some daring to suggest divine envy of her beauty. Yet Adana harbored a secret known only to her. She was a princess of the river gods, permitted to dwell among mortals for a time. As Adana reached marriageable age, suitors from distant lands vied for her hand, hoping to claim her beauty and wealth. However, Adana, empowered by her divine lineage, asserted her right to choose her own path. Unbeknownst to her parents, she harbored no intention of marrying, for she was destined to return to the Water Kingdom. Despite her extraordinary abilities and nightly visits to the river world in her dreams, Adana kept her true nature concealed. She continued to bring blessings to her family and community, her deeds shrouded in mystery and wonder. And as she stood at the precipice of her destiny, Adana embraced her role as a bridge between mortal and divine realms, ready to fulfill her sacred purpose. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have learned something from our stories. Please write in the comment box, and also, please subscribe to our channel for more captivating and educative folktale stories. See you in the next story.